Let's talk about the time the ponies visited the Wild West town, Canter Creek. Meet them on a train, passing the time until their arrival. AJ reminds them of the reason they are there though, to settle some Apple family matters that came up after her granduncle Chili Pepper disappeared. He had a rent on that land, which Granny Smith thought was crazy. Who would build a farm in a desert? She has no idea what would grow in such an environment. Arrived at the station, they meet Sheriff Tumbleweed, while Adi has to carry Rarity's luggage, since thank the gods Spike isn't there with them. Rarity's there though, and seems to fancy the sheriff quite a bit. Who leads them into the direction of the town? While well, Pinky remarks that the posters we could see here might be of some importance. They quickly make their way to the ranch, which became a central trading hub for the town with an abundance of different crops. It's the foundation of the town, like sweet apple acres and ponyville. Especially chili peppers are the specialty, with the likes of the Winnegar ghost pepper, the hottest pepper in Equestria, on which Pinky promptly chose down. It seems to be burning her up from the inside out, but it tastes delicious and she wants more. Back to the town. No one came in and helped so far because of the cattle rustlers, outlaws who are terrorizing the town and are the reason Chili Pepper left. Everyone else is too scared to step up and fight. AJ can't believe her uncle gave in to them, but still, everyone is afraid of these bullies. Try this joke, not mine. As Pinky says, leave the jokes to the professionals, as so not me. Then a loud rumble comes from the outside. The cattle rustlers have appeared. The sheriff moves out and tells their leader, Longhorn, directly that they don't want him in town. But he didn't listen and just flicks the sheriff into the wall and tells the ponies to get him the usual. Fill the bags. AJ won't have it and shouts, You bunch of yellow bellied brisket cowards! Who dare them rob these weak folks? She has a princess at her side backing her up. In that moment, she flies into the nearest wall. She didn't account for Twilight's sense of law. She can't attack a citizen of Equestria just like that even if they were very unkind. They have their camp in the mountains, and late at night, they have a meeting there and talk about their new problem. This could sabotage their plan to claim the land of the ranch. He wants the ranch to control the town, and to go through with that plan, they need to get rid of the new ponies, especially AJ. Our friends hear about the problem in town. Issue is that Chili didn't leave the deed, and just took off without a word. Which means that once it's considered abandoned, Longhorn can claim possession, because he lived there for months. The law of the Wild West. The main six obviously want to help, especially AJ. They made up their mind, when once again hearing these unusual noises from outside. Oh no, the barn is burning, and Longhorn is waiting in front of it to say how terrible it is and how bad it would be if anything else happened while they stayed in town, and rides away laughing. AJ is enraged by these events, but the barn comes first. Rarity and Twilight combine tip over the water tower to put out the fire and soak the whole barn. And Rainbow Dash. But it doesn't cool down AJ. She can't see the reason why Twy won't interfere with magic. But she gets why Chili Pepper left now. If he had to put up with all this. Pinky and Rarity try to console her without real success. And according to the sheriff, it will get way worse soon. He will call a town meeting in the morning to discuss this. This meeting mostly consists out of reassuring the townsfolk and telling them their plan. They want to build some barriers and set up a trap for the bulls. Not even a minute after they said that, another rumble starts. The bulls are causing a cow stampede for town, making them destroy everything in their path and leave the whole town in ruins. The sheriff, just like the town, is devastated. And in the morning, it doesn't look better. At least they can start to work on the defenses and repairs. They are building the chicken spring roll, Twilight's overcomplicated badly named trap, and simple spiked fences to stop their advances. And they repair the saloon at the same time, and it's still not sure if they get it done in time, or if it works. And as expected, the cattle rustlers are back, but they will not bother with the fences or traps, they just charge right through, crashing through the fences, getting covered in flammable syrup, followed by feathers and get set on flames by Pinky's chili fire breath which made it worse. In the end, they once again fill the bags, while the cattle gallop away. They lost, the heroes lost, and all of the town ponies, the sheriff most of all, have given up. He even puts down his star. It seems like the end, but AJ won't give up. She picks up the star and states that she will save Canter Creek, if it's the last thing she does, together with her friends. This was something, 
and a way too heavy topic for normal MLP. But we are used to that from the comics. But even I gotta say, the burning bullets count as nightmare fuel. And I love it. Join me for the next comic issue to see how the story plays out and how they overcome this seemingly hopeless situation. But until then, what do you think? Thanks to my patrons, especially to Windy Bear and Maverick. Join my Discord if you want to discuss some more. And until next time, for the bonies, bonnie fellas, and bye.